Hi YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. Um, so my name's Jackie, just to reintroduce myself, I'm a recent college grad um, from a small liberal arts college in Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, and um, I'm just kind of figuring out adulthood and realizing that I'm stumbling into it without knowing what I'm doing. So, let's get started. Um, today I kind of wanted to talk about some of my interests and hobbies that I've been developing in the last couple of weeks. Um, because I've, like, noticed that, like, a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of women my age don't have, um, a ton of hobbies outside of, like, how they, um, present themselves and, like, getting glammed up and, like, that very much is a fun thing to do and something I enjoy, um, and enjoy learning about even, but I am interested in things outside of that and I'm trying to grow and develop more as a person. So, um, if you saw my first video, it explains that in a lot more depth than I'm going to now, but I kind of just want to talk about some of the changes I've made in my life. Um, although I don't feel like I'm completely satisfied in this area of my life, I am growing and I'm um, trying to figure out adulthood a little bit more. So let me begin. Um, I have started listening to more podcasts and more YouTube channels at work. Um, some of them I listen to, <laughs> I actually watched this one YouTuber, um, it's called, like, Overanalyzing Avatar, um, and he's fantastic, he's hilarious, if you liked Avatar, if you watched all of it, he's great, I hope he does Legend of Korra next. Um, I've also recently started listening to this podcast called 13, it's a Taylor Swift podcast. <laughs> um, I've gotten really deep into the Swifty fan base recently. And as much as I was a Swifty before, I know way more about Taylor Swift and her music than I ever did. And that's hard to believe, <laughs> considering I've been listening to her since her first single came out on the radio. Um, yeah, I know a lot more than I did before, so that's really fun. Um, that's one I super enjoy, like, just kind of for my own, like, for my own enjoyment. Um, I don't really, like, talk to a lot of people about it. I know I have a few Swifty friends, but, like, we don't really text about it, because all of the stuff they talk about is not new news, right? Um, so let's see. Outside of that, I've been going to therapy. That's really fun. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, outside of that, I've been uh, taking piano lessons. As you know, as you, if you've seen the other videos, I really want to start writing music. Um, actually, I need recommendations for the best audio input microphone, like to put into the aux on my computer so I can start recording on um, GarageBand. I am really excited to get into that. I watched a few tutorials on how to use GarageBand to the best of my ability before just going in there and winging it and messing up an entire song. That could be great. Um, and I don't know. I've been, I haven't gotten back into shows yet. So like, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I don't spend a lot of time watching TV. I literally turn on my TV only if I'm going to watch Big Brother, which comes on three times a week, um, and that's only like an hour long. And then outside of that, like if I'm gonna play video games or if I'm gonna sit down and watch a movie. Um, and like recently I have been watching movie because watching movies often because my boyfriend is long distance and so we get on Xbox, we join a party, and we like watch a movie together over headset, which is just really fun. Um, so other than that, like, it's kind of been a little bit of dead ends. Um, I've tried to be, I've tried to get into journaling a little bit more, but, like, it's not really my strong suit. I went through and, like, reread my journaling from, like, February, March, and, like, I fell off, and that just happens to me often, um, with journaling. And I've been reading. So this one I'm really excited about. I've read four different, well, three different books this year. I'm on my fourth book. Um, the first book I read was Such a Fun Age, and it was just... It's great. It's fiction, but it's fantastic. Uh, highly suggest. Not going to go into the plot overview. Look it up. Read the little paragraph summary. It'll tell you everything you need to know if you're going to like it or not. Um, the second book this year that I read was The Defining Decade, um, which is basically about how to make the most of your 20s. And not just in terms of like, yeah, I'm in my 20s, like, let's live it up. It's like bigger than that. And it's written by a psychologist who um, talks a lot about having clients who are in their 20s and trying to figure out life and they're trying to figure out career paths as well as um, just preparing for their future essentially is what it's about. So that was a really great book is teaching you about like not settling in careers, not settling in relationships and just how to use your brain and your body together to get the best of all the possible outcomes for yourself. Um, and then the third book I read 
was called Untamed. Here's the sleeve, it fell off. <laughs> um, and it was fantastic. It was um, like definitely a very reflective book and she talks about, a, a lot about her uh, recovery from an eating disorder as a child, recovery from alcohol addiction, um, and just, uh, she basically 180'd her life. Um, and I don't wanna give it away, but it's fantastic. So outside of that, I'm reading a new book that's called It Didn't Start With You, and it's about inherited family traumas and epigenetics and how um, basically family traumas can pass down through your lineage even if it's something that you didn't see, you didn't witness, you didn't experience. It's just happening through genetics um, because certain experiences can mute or activate certain genes in our DNA. Um, and so you can react the same way to things that trigger your parents' trauma. So it's very interesting. Um, I'm only about into the second chapter of it. I really just started it. But it's something that really interests me um, because it's learning that like trauma is bigger than you. Like the things that you struggle with aren't, it's not just your fault. Like it, it comes from such a deeper place than that and it comes from like this long, extensive understanding of like why you act the way that you do to certain things so it's definitely an interesting book anyway enough about media that I'm taking in recently um I kind of want to get to like just how I've been doing with life recently um it's definitely weird being in your 20s and living on your own right after graduating and working a full-time job and being far away from a lot of your friends that are still in school so other than all of that um, I definitely have been on like Bumble BFF recently, and I have a few hangouts coming up tomorrow. Um, this week we had Tuesday and Wednesday off of work. We just have some really cool work holidays that are allowing me to do some other things. I also have some other personal things that I'm working on that I don't want to give away just yet. But, um, you know, I've got some things in the works, so stick around and you'll hear from me in the next week or so. Um, a week from tomorrow, which will be Wednesday, September 15th, I'm going to Texas, so hopefully you guys will get a little bit of a vlog from me from Texas. I'm going to Austin to visit my uncle, um, and today I had a photo shoot with one of my good friends, Megan. She's fantastic, um, and it was really nice seeing her for the first time in a few months. So, that's just what I've been up to. It's coffee dates, it's sitting out by a pool by Lake Erie on the beach, just reading journaling, reflecting, growing, all that good stuff. Um, it gets tiring. So I'm looking for um, new show recommendations. I need to finish a couple of shows I've got working on, but if you guys have any favorites, please leave them down in the comments because I need some things to get into. I am patiently waiting for Sex in the City to come back. Um, and I still haven't watched you, and I really want to watch you, but I'm a little scared, okay? I live alone. I'm a small woman. I'm a little scared that it's going to freak me out and, like, mess with my psyche. And, like, as much as I want to be scared, I don't want to be that scared. I want to be able to sleep, because if I don't sleep, I'm going to be grouchy. <laughs> so, other than that, <laughs> um, I have to finish... Um, a couple of shows. So, Working Moms, and then, well, I can't remember the name of the other one. Oh no, I'm gonna have to edit this out. It's about like an autistic kid and his family. Um, it's like not an abnormal, atypical, oh my god. <laughs> it's called atypical, it took me 30 seconds to figure that out. Um, but Atypical is really good. It's on its third season and I have to finish that. So just a couple of things that are going to force me to relax because I know I need to relax. Um, I'm too much of a go, go, go type of person. But that's what's new. That's what's up with me. Um, I really love to hear from you guys. Um, but I'm working on some things. I'm working on some things. Let me know in the comments um, what I need to do in Austin, Texas. I also need nail recommendations. I think I'm going to get my nails done for this trip. So it's been a few months uh, since I've really done that, and I'm really excited to like, kind of treat myself. So um, let me know everything. Answer all my questions, please. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, all of the above. It's Jack from Clee on everything. You know where to find me. My opinions are obnoxious, but they are yours to observe. Peace out.